diabetes is the most common cause of kidney failure, accounting for nearly 44% of new cases. But getting control of your diabetes and knowing what to watch out for can make a difference. We sat down with Dr. Nitty Jane for more on the topic. For a patient with type 1 diabetes, it takes on an average about 10 to 15 years before kidney problems are usually detected. Uh, for patients with type 2 diabetes, it's different because type 2 diabetes goes unrecognized for a long period of time before it's actually diagnosed. What are the first symptoms of kidney disease? Any markers that you may look for? Kidney disease, when it first develops, is usually asymptomatic, meaning you typically don't have any symptoms of kidney disease. Uh, most uh, kidney problems in patients with diabetes are detected on screen. The screening process is very simple. All we do is check for protein in a urine specimen. Risk factors. Who is more at risk than others? If you have a parent or a sibling with uh, diabetes and kidney failure, you are more likely to develop kidney failure also. African Americans have a higher incidence of kidney failure with diabetes. Uh, obesity or being overweight exacerbates development of kidney failure. And then the duration of diabetes, the longer you have diabetes for, the more likely you are to have kidney problems down the road. And last but not the least is uh, the glycemic control, meaning how well you your diabetes has done over the last few years. And finally, if you are diabetic, how often should you be screened? Uh, at least once every year. Kidney failure is the final stage of kidney disease. And once you reach this stage, dialysis or transplant are your only options. For today's Corner Clinic Report, I'm Jancy Sheets.